Hey guys, and welcome back to Ask My Boutique. My name is Heather. This is my channel where I talk about all the plant related things. In today's video, I am going to do a semi hydroponics update slash maintenance day. I haven't done any kind of maintenance to my LECA or hydroponic plants since summer 2022. It's about time. I just keep them watered and wipe the leaves down on the plants every now and again, but it's time to actually rinse the LECA, soak the LECA, whatever. I'm probably just going to rinse it really well with hot water and refill the pots, clean the containers, etc, etc. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, hit that thumbs up, and smash the notifications bell. It helps my channel get out there, it throws me into an algorithm for more plant enthusiasts like you guys, and it means a lot to me, more than you guys will ever know. With that being said, let's start cleaning these plants up because I know they need it and they will enjoy it and spring is coming so it's good. I just have this big five gallon bucket with holes drilled in the bottom of it to help with bulk quantity of LECA so I'm not just putting in a little strainer one by one. By one. Just going to dump it all into this thing, rinse it out real well and we'll be back momentarily. And it's okay that the LECA is stuck like that. I'm just going to rinse the LECA balls that are attached like that with it still being attached, so. They're just gonna stay on that for a minute. Alright, note to self guys, if you have water in these containers, make sure if you're doing it this way, there's something underneath it to catch the water, because I did not do that. Okay, that should be okay for now. <laughs> That's funny. So now that I have all the LECA dumped out, I'm going to be rinsing that one out just the way it is. I'll have a separate strainer because I seen little white spores on the roots and I don't want to transfer that onto this stuff. So I'm going to rinse it separately. Anyway, so everyone is emptied out. I have the containers to rinse out and wash. I'm not going to wash it with soap or anything. I'm just going to spritz them out with some isopropyl rubbing alcohol, rinse them out really well, wipe them down. Spray out the LECA really good, maybe spritz that with a little bit of rubbing alcohol, rinse it thoroughly, and then I will refill all the pots and tell you guys what they are.
so I am a silly goose and didn't freaking erase memory on my phone and it did not record all of this so I can at least show you guys the alocasia you know hey it's whatever so I'm going to cut it here and we're going to take everything downstairs and fill these up All right, so I have all the containers washed. I have the Lekka rinsed and I have my nutrient water right here. All I did was take some bio root and use some liquid dirt and put some water in it. And that is my nutrient water. I'm going to start by filling everybody up. So sit back, relax, enjoy. It is going to take me some time. I'm gonna move you guys down so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. So now that I have everybody filled, I'm going to add the water and talk about them a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see and the exposure is not too much. Anyway, so this is my Ring of Fire Philodendron. It's a teeny tiny little guy. It's got some new growth. And I guess while I'm talking, I can start filling these guys up. I'm going to go grab my watering can because I don't trust myself to make sure all the water ends up in these containers. <laughs> And I have more of a controlled flow this way too. So with this one, because the roots weren't really that long, I'm going to bring the water up kind of high just because I don't want to cause it to die. <laughs> and then this one right here is my Hoya Poly... Hmm. Polinera, yeah, sorry. <laughs> my Hoya Polinera, Hoyo, ooh, my Hoya Polinera, Polinero, Polinera, Fishtail Hoya. We'll, we'll just go with that for right now. It's one of those, but definitely a Fishtail Hoya. Because the roots are kind of long on this boy, I don't want this one to be sitting in water, so I will fill it to right below the roots so the Leka can wick up the water and do what it's supposed to do. And this one right here is my Hoya Sunrise. It is doing pretty dang good. I love how it looks in the semi-hydro. And I gave it a completely new container from what it was in before. This is the Philodendron Silver Sword. Again, you don't want the water to be drowning the roots. You just want the water to come up right before them. 
This is my Philodendron Pink Princess. And I kind of filled it up too high, but so this is what I'm gonna do. Just uh, dump it right back in. <laughs> Just a little bit. Oh, and I got water everywhere. It's fine. It's fine. But this is a cutting I got off my Pink Princess right on this windowsill. And it's doing pretty good. I love it. It's so cute. I can't wait to have it grow completely big and bushy. And this one right here is my Painted Lady Philodendron. The single leaf cutting from a plant swap I went to back in May last year. Oh, goodness. Maybe this container wasn't the best idea for this one, but... It'll do for now. This is my booby cactus. I'm gonna put it on the floor. <laughs> Next one up is my Hoya macrophylla. My, oh good lord. I thought I did good by putting the shade down, but it's not working. Anyway, this is my Hoya Macrophylla, variegated Hoya Macrophylla. It suffered root rot, that's why it's in hydro now. It's been in hydro for a long while, and it's, it's, it's hanging on by thread, but I hope that it will come back full force. I have high hopes it will. And then this one right here is my Syngonium Albo. It is doing actually really well in semi-hydro, doing better than the one prior to it. So fingers crossed that it continues doing well. And then this one is my Hoya Lisa Australis. I have Lekka coming out of my sleeves and everything. And then this one is my Philodendron Soderai. Soderai? Soderai? I think that's how you pronounce it, but it's a single leaf cutting. It's working on a new leaf, and I'm hoping it takes off in this little, cute little sphere. Good. Oh geez, where's the, where are you landing? Okay. Cool. Alright, so that's done. Well, that was everything for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for coming back. I absolutely love semi-hydroponics. It is one of the easiest mediums for plants to grow in, I feel. And you can watch the root growth and just keep an eye on your plants better for me and my experience. I 100,025 million percent recommend semi-hydroponics. If you guys love to see how I take care of all of these plants, please subscribe to my channel, hit that thumbs up, and smash the notifications bell. You guys are absolutely amazeballs, and I appreciate every single one of you. I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. Stay beautiful. Happy planting.